one of the extraordinary things about the pandemic we're all now living through is the degree to which all of us have found ways to react to it which are unexpected. And one of those is with a response of wanting to communicate what we're going through to others, whether we do that with song or music or writing or art or dance or cooking or sewing. There are a thousand ways in which people now are discovering they have a need to do that. I know this in terms of my own work as a writer because I'm getting a great many emails from readers of mine who want to know how to do it, how to write. My name is William Horwood. I've written 21 novels. I'm a former editor, feature editor of a, a national newspaper. I've chaired the Society of Authors, I, uh, one of the British trade union for writers. And I've done a whole range of work in terms of specialist trade reporting. So I've got a fair amount of experience of writing as such, but never ever in my life did I expect to have the kind of challenge that I'm now facing in terms of the extraordinary outpouring that people around me have about what they're going through. And the great thing about writing in particular is it's not quite as hard or indeed as challenging as people sometimes think. Most of us these days have heard of the idea that we need 10,000 hours of experience or practice or skill or training, 10,000 hours of whatever it is, uh, if we're to perform at all well in the particular field which we've chosen. If you want to be an athlete, 10,000 hours is needed. If you want to be a cook, you go away and cook for 10,000 hours and you'll be okay. The great thing about writing is most of us have already put our time in before we ever put a word on paper or on the word presser screen. Why? Because writing comes from experience. Without that 10,000 hours of experience, we have nothing to write about. And by the time most of us start writing, which is in our young 20s, I guess, having tried a few bits and pieces of 18, 19, but by the time we're 20, we have that 10,000 hours of experience. Add to that the extraordinary experiences we're now going through for good and bad, and the desire we feel to communicate them in some shape or form, we don't have to worry about the 10,000 hours. Nor actually do we have to worry about the, another great tool for writers, which is the words themselves. If you understand what I'm saying, the chances are you speak English. It may be your first language, in which case you speak it as well as I do. Um, if it's your second language, then, and you understand, then we take it that you speak it pretty well. We are experts at our own language. We may not be practised in getting the exact right words in the exact right order, but we are highly skilled in the language we speak, the first or second languages they may be. So we have the experience, we have the language. What we don't have, and this is what I want to get involved with now, are the habits and the skills that make you turn the hours of experience and the language you have into something on a page in terms of a novel, a non-fiction, a poem, or whatever it might be. And this series of videos is going to encourage you to, to realise that you do have the skills, you just need to put them into practice and learn how to do so. And that is going to be my pleasure and my job to share with you over the next few weeks. So please subscribe and click the old notification button so you get notifications of when the next video appears. And let's see how far down the road of our creative desire and purpose and objective we can get in the next few weeks.